guys, I'm Tassie and today Property London has invited me down to this insane five bedroom semi-detached house in Barnes. I'm itching to get in, so let's go have a look. Okay, here we are stepping in. This hallway is gorgeous. And can I just mention this staircase first off is the most unique staircase, one of them I think I've ever seen. Look at like the oak finish and the matte black. It's so just like luxurious as soon as you walk in. That's what you want, like the curved shape as well. We're gonna go explore them in a bit, but let's go through to the kitchen first and see what there is to offer. Okay, so this for me is the room of dreams. You've got your gorgeous, huge open space kitchen and then you've got your kind of dining area right next door. So for hosting, this is incredible. And what kind of strikes me straight away is the most beautiful marble. There's really kind of like a natural, neutral feel in here, which I love. It's so calming, it's so relaxing. And also with these cabinets, kind of oak feel. You've got so much storage in here as well. I mean, I love the colors, the neutral colors I'm obsessed with. I might be a bit biased towards neutral colours, but I can't help myself when I see such a gorgeous kitchen. So this space does not stop at the kitchen. If we work our way around, there's a beautiful dining area. Again, it's such a natural and neutral feel. The lighting, again, is incredible. I mean, imagine sitting here, having your lunch and just looking out into your gorgeous garden. So coming out of our living, dining kind of room, if we come through here, we have got this cozy, living, chilling kind of area. And if you want to ignore everyone in the kitchen, you can just slide these doors along. How handy. I actually love the black panelling on the doors. Kind of another obsession of mine. Um, coming round, look at this sofa. I don't think I've ever seen a longer sofa. Um, I mean, you could probably get about 10 people on here if you've got that many friends. Just sit and chill. So now we've explored the first floor, let's head on down to the ground floor and see what's going on down here. Honestly, I need to prepare myself. Right. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this huge down here. Oh my days, it is massive. It's basically the same size as the kitchen and dining, but in just a whole different kind of vibe of a room. I mean, we've got a football table. Goal. And I love it. There's also this like vintage games machine. I don't know when you'd need this, but I mean, I'm not complaining. It's nice to have. It goes with the kind of vibe of the room. If you've got kids or like teenagers, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get them from down under here back upstairs. Cause I think myself, I would never leave this room. This sofa area, chill, fun, just goes with the whole room. Honestly, it's cozy. It's huge, but it's also cozy. It's got the same kind of vibe as, as upstairs. And it does not stop in here, okay? Of course, of course with this house, you've got an outdoor balcony kind of area. Look how spacious it is out here. I know exactly what I would do. I'd put a little chair and table, a few fairy lights. What better place to host your mates than here? All this whole room, you've basically a house underneath your actual house. Okay, let's go see what's down here. We've got a utility kind of washroom over here and this has to be one of my favorite rooms of this house. Have you ever seen such a bougie home office? Come over to your little desk. It's just so beautiful in here. And again, you've got that outdoor space that you could do whatever you want with. Put like a chair and tables again. I'd get a coffee machine in here, come down, make a coffee and go sit out there, 100%. There's also a bathroom in here. Very handy. All right, second floor. In a second, I'm gonna get confused with all the floors in this house because it is huge. Straight away, we've got a bedroom. It is blank, but it's huge. And I guess you've kind of gotta let your imagination run wild and kind of think, what would you put in here? What furniture would you like? There is huge windows as well. So much natural light coming in the whole of this house. Honestly, I love it so much. And bathroom coming in here. We've got a bit of a ring light moment. If you're an avid selfie taker or an Instagram lover, this mirror is for you, obviously. I might take a few pictures in there in a second <laughs> when no one's looking. And we've also got a walk-in wardrobe. It's not huge, but it's the perfect size. Shoes in here, bags in here. Fill it up and just close the door. So coming down right at the end of the landing, we have got the principal bedroom. And this room is huge. And the bed. 
is huge. Look how massive this bed is. I don't know if this is a king or a super king, but imagine just lying on this. I can confirm it's extremely comfy. Oh, this room, I don't really know where to start. I know I've said a lot about natural light and a lot about windows, but the windows in this place are beautiful. You can just look out into your garden. Honestly, the view is insane. And if we come in here, we've got a dressing room. Look at all the storage in here, honestly. Okay, this is a feature I'm obsessed with. Open the wardrobe and the light turns on. It's so handy. So no more fumbling around thinking, where's this, where's that? Just open it, the light turns on. So handy, honestly. And they're gorgeous, the finish is incredible. I love the handles too. And into the bathroom, straight away I noticed this beautiful marble. How gorgeous is this? Honestly, I feel like this house is filled with so many natural materials like wood and marble and stone. I absolutely love it. It's got such a calm feel in here. And look how massive this bathroom Bath is. Honestly, I could consider this more as like a pool slash jacuzzi. I think you could fit about 10 people in here. It is massive. And this shower is also massive. Of course it is. Look how big. You've got so much room to just come in here. The shower head. I just know that is going to be an insane shower, honestly. The size of it is huge. Everything in here is massive. And the gorgeous window. Look at the garden from this angle. It's so beautiful. All the light flooding in. Honestly, it's so calm in here. Now we were coming up to the final floor, the top floor. Of course, this is still massive in here. Coming down the landing, we come into this gorgeous, huge bedroom. Another huge bedroom. All the bedrooms in this house are big. And again, you've got to kind of use your imagination of what you'd put in here. You can kind of put whatever you want. It's massive, but the size is incredible. Another great view out the window. Love it. Tree tops, very natural, very light. And what is through here? Another bedroom. We've got another bedroom, another huge bedroom, this time looking out into the garden side. I love these windows. The fact that it's kind of like a door and you can imagine in the summer opening these up, chilling by here, get a couple chairs. I love it. I absolutely love the space and there's so much you could do with it 100%. And I think through here I saw a bathroom. Okay, if you like marble, this is probably your dream bathroom because look at the amount of stone in here. The marble is everywhere. It's floor to ceiling, basically. And if we come around here, there is a little hidden shower, which is actually really cool. You've got the bath and the shower. This is kind of more hidden away, but it's still a really decent size. And I love the finish in here. The marble is just really fun. I mean, there's a lot of it, but it looks great. There we have it guys. We have finished having a look around this house. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a comment below, like, subscribe and share, and we will be back for another incredible house tour very soon.